Okay, welcome to you, great tens. Today we are looking at the year end adjustments, general ledger, and accounting equation. Okay, so this is the information that we are given. Uh, the requirements record the following transactions in the general ledger, indicate the effect on the accounting equation. Okay, it's a very uh, small activity. I hope uh, you be able to understand it. All right, the information that we are given extract from the pre-adjustment trial balance on the 28th of February 2021. So these amounts are opening balances, okay? These are opening balances, okay? Oh, so when we are doing the general ledger account, we start with those opening balances and then we record the other transactions and so forth. Okay, fine. So, okay, on my answer book uh, template, we have got the data's control the bad debts, and then the bank account, okay? Let's read the transaction now that we are supposed to be looking at, okay? They are saying that, okay, on adjustment, okay? Oh, before we go to the adjustments, the first thing that we are supposed to do is to record these balances that are given, okay? All right, uh, the debtors control, okay? Debtors control uh, is an asset account, is an asset account, okay? It means that if it is an asset, okay, this is our debit, this is our credit, all assets, they increase on the debit side, they decrease this side, okay? Bad debts, it is part of our owner's equity, owner's equity, bad debts is part of owner's equity, and then owner's equity, okay, it increases on the credit side and decreases on the debit side, fine, and then bank, is an asset account and then like what i said there all assets increase on the debit side and they decrease this side and where you, the account usually increase or decrease or oh, you find out that okay fine that's where we usually put the opening balance but it is of course a little bit different when it comes to owner's equity all right but anyway the assets okay fine they always carry debit balances okay our debtors control account okay when they are favorable everything is favorable it's a debit balance Okay, we have got uh, debtors control, and from the balances that are given there, we are given an opening amount of a hundred thousand. So we are going to indicate balance, balance BD, and then the amount is a hundred thousand. Okay, and then we go on to our bad debts. The amount that we are given for bad debts, okay, it is five hundred. Okay, bad bad debts is an expense account. Okay. Is an expense account, so the opening balance for bad debts is balance BD. We have got 500, okay. And then we also have got bank, it also has got an opening balance. How much was in the bank account? The balance BD in the bank account, the balance brought down in the bank account was 8,000, okay. So, this is what you have so far. Now let's look at the adjustment that are given. Okay, let's look at the adjustment that are given. Okay, W. Wellington, a debtor was declared insolvent. A dividend of 40 cents in the rent was paid. 14,000 was directly deposited into the current account of the business. The rest of the outstanding debt must be written off as irrecoverable. This transaction has not yet been recorded. So we are supposed to record this transaction. Okay. Fine. The first thing we need to calculate, what does it mean when they say a debtor was declared insolvent? If a debtor is insolvent, it means that he was, W. Wellington was no longer in a position of being able to pay back whatever that he was owing. Okay. So that is what insolvent means. But they said a dividend of 40 cents in the rent was paid. So he only managed to pay 40 cents in the rent. Okay. Which was 14 thousand okay which was deposited into the current bank account of the business okay and then the rest of the outstanding debt must be written off as irrecoverable okay so here we need also to calculate so we already know the money that was recovered but we do not know how much the bad debt is okay so we need to calculate the bad debt okay so if 40 cents is equivalent to 14 thousand rent okay so it means the remaining cents is 40 cents in the rent it means we remain with what 60 cents is equal to 
we do not know how much money was written off okay then how do we get the 60 cents in the rent 40 cents in the rent is 14,000 60 cents in the rent is the amount that we are supposed to route write off as a bad debt so how do we do that calculation it's simple we simply take the 60 over the 40 that is already given we multiply by the 14,000 okay it will give us something like 21 21,000 rent so 21,000 rent is the amount to be written is the amount to be written off the amount to be written off remember they said 14,000 was recovered okay so this is how you do the calculation okay now that we have calculated our amount that is supposed to be written off let's now record all the amounts where they are supposed to go okay the debtors control of course there is money the 14,000 the 14,000 remember this was a debtor 14,000 was received is it okay whenever money is received we write okay it is recorded also where in the bank account is it so there's 14,000 which was received okay it was coming from a debtor so we are going to indicate debtors control here debtors control and then the amount that was received was 14,000 are we still together okay this money was paid by a debtor so you find out that automatically this amount is also supposed to be recorded where in the debtor's control if a debtor is owing money the money increases on the debit side but the moment that the debtor starts to pay the the amount that he was owing starts to decrease and remember i said the asset of debtors decreases on the credit side so here we are also going to write bank okay this same amount 14,000 okay 14,000 was paid okay fine are we still to rem are we still together let's look again at the issue of bad debts how much money was written off as a bad debt according to our calculation 21,000 is supposed to be written off 21,000 is going to increase our bad debts okay so we are going to record the 21,000 on the on the debit side okay we are going to indicate debtors control is it remember this was a data debtors control okay we are going to indicate 21000 are we still together okay what is the effect of uh, the de bad debts on debtors control bad debts they also decrease the debtors control so anything that decreases the credit the debtors control is supposed to be recorded which side on the credit side so we are also going to write bad debts Bad debts this side, and then the amount is twenty one thousand. Okay, so uh, so far it seems as if we have recorded all our entries. Okay, we have recorded. Now the only thing that we are supposed to do, remember, the money for the bad debts is supposed to be taken to the profit and loss account. So how much are we going to take to the profit? Close off to the profit and loss account. The total amount for the expense for bad debts will be. Uh, five thousand plus twenty one thousand, which means is twenty one thousand and five hundred, which is going to be taken to the uh, profit and loss account. Is it? Remember, this is an expense. Is it? Okay. And then I think that is all. Now we can look at the effect of all these transactions that we have done on the accounting equation. Okay. Remember, all this which was being done here, it's all double entry. Okay. But this calculation is very important. Because a time will come over, you are now doing the profit and loss account. You need to know how to calculate your expenses, how to adjust for the bad debts, especially if part of the money was recovered, like this particular question. Okay, now let's move on to the effect on the accounting equation of this transaction that we have just looked at. Okay, fine. The first thing we saw that, okay, there was an amount of 14000 there was an amount of also 21,000. There's 14,000 and 21,000. This is the transaction that we have. Let's find out what was the effect of this transaction on the accounting equation. Okay. The first thing that you need to do after reading this transaction, you are also supposed to identify the accounts that are going to be affected. That is our double entry. Remember, every time when a transaction takes place, two accounts are affected. One is supposed to be debited and the other one is supposed to be credited. Okay. If you look at it, okay, fine. We have got debtors here, a debtor, okay, being declared insolvent simply means we are now going to have a bad debt, okay. 
and then this money was received it means this is bank okay deposited into the current and then the rest it must be written off so we've got debtors we've got bad debts and we've got bank okay so let's look at the issue of the money that was received whenever money is received we are going to have a bank account is it the money was received from who or from where from a data okay from a debt okay fine is a uh, data's data's control okay so for the first transaction of 14000 the 14000 that was received we've got bank and data's control and i said bank is an asset and also data's control is an asset okay remember what i said double entry says whenever a transaction takes place one account is supposed to be debited the other one is supposed to be credited so okay now you simply have to ask yourself what is happening to my bank account is the bank account increasing receiving increasing or it is actually giving away the debtors control also at the same time is it increasing or decreasing bank money was paid by a debtor it means the business is receiving this money okay the debtors are decreasing because they have paid okay so automatically now we know remember what i said all assets they increase on the debit side and they decrease on the credit side which asset is increasing the asset of bank so we are going to debit bank which asset is decreasing the debtors control so we are going to credit debtors control okay let's record the 14000 transaction okay we are going to debit bank and credit debtors control so we are going to write bank here and then here we are going to record debtors control okay and then the effect on the accounting equation remember we say that it's only going to affect the assets is it this is an asset this is an asset okay so the 14000 14000 is going to be plus minus okay on the assets here there is zero effect here there is zero effect okay i hope we are together there it's a plus 14000 minus 14000 for this transaction where the 14000 was received okay and then the last part of the 21000 the bad debt okay remember they said this must be written off the moment we say written off it means that is a bad debt is it bad debt against what okay debtors control so we have got debtors control that is our debtors and then we have got bad debt okay the debtors control are assets okay they are assets bad debt is an expense and all expenses are part of what the owner's equity expenses are part of the owner's equity okay fine what is happening to our debtors control account okay what is happening okay an expense automatically it decreases owner's equity is it so we can say it decreases owner's equity so anything that decreases owner's equity if we look at our owner's equity it decreases on the debit side to mean we are going to debit the bad debts okay so we debit the bad debts automatically if you are debiting bad debts it means you are going to credit what the creditors control why i mean the debtors control why are we crediting the debtors control it is because they are being decreased by the bad debt is it every time when we have got a bad debt the money that we are expecting to receive from debtors it goes down okay so this is our double entry let's also record it on the accounting equation we are going to debit bad debts we debit bad bad debts and credit the debtors the debtors control okay and then the amount okay it is a uh, bad debts and debtors control remember bad debts is owner's equity and debtors control is a part of assets so our assets are being reduced by 21000 and also at the same time the owner's equity is being affected by 21000 then there is zero effect on the liabilities okay so when we are looking at the year end adjustments it's very important for you to remember your double entry principle and also read the adjustment and get a full understanding so that you can actually be able to do a proper calculation okay great tense this is all i want you to like this video i want you okay to subscribe if you have not subscribed there are more videos that will be coming your way for all those topics that you think are very challenging we are going to be uploading those videos for you okay i hope you fully understood this calculation this adjustment thank you so much